Hello, well, here's, I'm afraid, kind of a painful one. Is Britain a haven for tax-dodging individuals? Uh, sadly, Britain has earned a reputation as a world-class haven for both tax dodgers and money launderers, and some of its former possessions around the world are world-class in this shameful activity. The, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, and Bermuda are said to be the top three enablers of corporate tax abuse on the planet. It's the same with individuals. But some say, hey, it's all legal, so there's no problem. Okay, well, as usual, I examine both sides. First of all, what about those who say, uh, yes, it is. It is a haven for, for tax dodgers. Well, many oligarchs' houses, these are the Russian oligarchs in Britain, are untouchable because of trust arrangements. And recent efforts to attach the assets of uh, Putin supporters have only limited success. Uh, why, why is this? Well, there's a whole industry of enabling professionals, which was revealed by a recent TV documentary. It was shocking. Banks, lawyers, estate agents, they're all part of this network of crime enablers. As a member of the ruling Conservative Party said, London is the money laundering capital of the world, and, and the city of London is at the system's core. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, in 2015, the then Prime Minister, David Cameron, uh, announced that he was putting together a register of the true owners of UK properties, like those of the Russian oligarchs, to prevent stolen or corrupt money being hidden. And it was designed, a draft bill was put together. No parliamentary time has been found for this legislation. I wonder why. Uh, a famous example was Jimmy Carr, the comedian. He was outed uh, sheltering uh, three million pounds of income and paying only 1% tax using a dodgy scheme in a Jersey-based shell corporation. Um, he was forced to make uh, appropriate restitution, of course, when he was caught. Uh, and he wasn't the only one. A lot of others have been in the same situation. Cameron himself came under the... Same kind of difficulty years later, having benefited from his father's involvement in similar schemes. And a uh, 2016 release of client names in a tax-dodging syndicate, which we now know as the Panama Papers, revealed a huge list of British tax dodgers. Among them were six members of the House of Lords. As far as I know, there have been no prosecutions to date. And the biggest tax dodger of all is the monarchy. Uh, quite apart from the fact that the UK taxpayer naively subsidizes a grotesquely uh, lavish lifestyle in members of the monarchy, there are no death duties, no estate taxes for the Queen. Why should that be? Well, look, there's no question. Fat cats make the law and they benefit from their impotence. It is a colossal moral failure. Well, what about those who say, no, it isn't, no, it isn't, uh, they're not, it's not a, a tax dodging thing. Well, look, the uh, Internal Revenue, the HMRC pursues them, uh, they have units to do this, uh, the president has said it's, uh, we're doing our best, uh, most people are meeting their tax obligations. <laughs> um, and a robust system of oversight is in place. Uh, this is known as suspicious activity reports. The system requires anyone who deals with a, a high roller, lawyers, bankers, art dealers, to flag suspect transactions to the regulators. They do this in huge numbers. Uh, perhaps so many that they can't even read them all. <laughs> many such schemes are legal. If you don't like them, get your MP to change them. Well, that's the, uh, that's the case for the, for the defense. What's my take on it? Uh, well, look, the prize is just too big to ignore. There's just too much money out there that ought to be in the public coffers, and it's too immoral to excuse. Sadly, there is virtually no possibility that Parliament will do anything about this since so many of its members themselves are probably involved in such schemes and activities or are in some way compromised by them. 
Only the press and the relevant uh, pressure organizations uh, can help by continually hammering away at these injustices and making voters aware of them so that they cast their votes accordingly. It's a sad business, but the answer is yes. Britain is a corrupt tax haven for individuals, and it should be both ashamed of the fact and pressured into doing something about it. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who aren't going to like that conclusion, but I stand by it. And if, if you did like it, please do the usual. Give me a like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, uh, notify, and all of that. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.